Hi, I'm Eric Jackson, Director of Horticulture here at Old Salem, and welcome to our seed saving lab. Here we save the seeds of varieties of old heirloom vegetables, grains, flowers, herbs, all grown in our gardens. Generations of previous gardeners and seed savers have saved these seeds of heirloom varieties, and now so do the Old Salem garden staff. The species we grow are directly informed by the records of the Moravians. All the varieties of those species which we save seed of here in the lab and which we grow in our gardens are varieties that were historically grown during Old Salem's original interpretive time period of 1766 to 1850. Many of these old heirloom vegetable varieties are literally the parents of modern varieties that you can buy in a grocery store or farmer's market today. But you can't really buy most of these varieties almost anywhere. Currently, we are stewarding 129 different species of flowers and herbs and 37 species of annual food crops. Of those food crop species, we steward 123 different heirloom cultivated varieties. Some of the seeds in our seed freezer date back as far as 20 years ago. Usually, starting around the beginning of June, from then all through October, the seeds are harvested from our gardens here. All the seeds here in the lab are flowering plants. They are pollinated either by wind or insects. Then the flower forms a fruit or seed pods, which contain the seeds. We monitor the plants and then collect the seeds when they mature. We then bring them into the seed lab to dry and let them further mature. In the winter, we clean the seeds, separate them from the chaff, and store them in a cool, dry, dark place until we are ready to plant the seeds and grow these plants in the gardens again in the future. Not every variety can be grown each year due to the limitations of garden space as well as the risk of cross-pollination, so the collection must be rotated across successive years. Seed preservation connects simultaneously with the past, present, and the future. We are preserving genetic material that was grown and bred by previous generations across many diverse communities. The genetic material can feed people from our gardens today, as can be seen in our Victory Garden efforts, donating garden produce to local food banks, and can be very useful for people in the future. Seeds are the first link in the food chain, the embodiment of biological and cultural diversity. They are the common inheritance of humanity. Here at Old Salem, in our gardens, and here in the seed lab, we protect them, share them, and pass them on to future generations. If you want to know the specifics of any of the seeds shown here today, come visit us, because we're reopening on August 4th. Come visit the Mitch House and Garden, the Boys School, the Visitor Center is going to be opening, and so is the seed lab. We welcome you to come visit the Seed Lab and learn about how we maintain our historic plant collection through these seeds and some of the histories behind these plants.